Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to set a static IP address on your EasyPi R4 Plus kit. So by default, our EasyPi R4 Plus kits will use what's called DHCP to get their IP address. Your home router will hand out an IP address, and this is standard for most configurations. The only problem with that is sometimes as the device gets restarted or your router reboots, so if that address changes, you're gonna to have to figure out what that IP address is. Now, it's not a huge deal because our device does display the IP address on the printer screen when it first connects. Me personally, I'd rather statically assign the address so it never changes. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is that you should log into your router and look at the network configuration to see the range of IP addresses that your DHCP server will assign. For example, I know my router here is configured to assign addresses in the range of .100 through .199. So I can set a static IP address above a .100 address or below a .199 address. And when I say dot, I'm talking about the last octet of numbers. So an IP address has four octets of numbers. For example, most of your home routers, they'll use a subnet of 192.168.0.0, meaning your IP address will be 192.168.1.1 through 192.168.1.254. Typically, your router will be on the first or the last address, depending on how the vendor decided to set it up. Me personally, I usually have my router on the last address. So before we get started, we're gonna need to figure out what IP address we're gonna set on the device, what our default gateway is, which is usually your router, and what DNS server we're gonna use, which is also usually your router. So in my example, my router is located on 172.16.21.254. And I actually have separate DNS servers because I use AdGuard filtering. So I know my DNS servers are on .250 and .252. These addresses will be different for your network because every single network is slightly set up differently. The easiest way to identify that is if you are running a default router setup, meaning you just plugged it in and kind of run with the stock setup, is to look at the bottom of the router and see what address it is. You could also look at your computer itself and see what information it has. And also show you guys how to run the IP address command on the Pi itself to determine what those current values are if you don't know how to find them on your router or on your computer. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is have the kit connected. Right now, my kit is installed on my printer over to the left and it's already connected to the network. We're gonna go over setting the static address on a wired network connection, but if for some reason you have a wireless one, the steps are the same. You'll just configure the wireless network instead of the wired connection when we're in the setup utility. So I have PuTTY open here and I'm going to type in the IP address that my EasyPi is on right now. If you don't have PuTTY, this is a free download, and this is also linked on the actual page in our help center on setting up a static IP address. So I know my Pi is on the IP address 172.16.21.115. So I'm gonna type that in, hit enter, and then we're gonna log in with the default login, which is just Pi, all lowercase, and then capital EZ, capital P1, dot SSH. Login is also in our documentation, so you don't need to remember it. Now I'm gonna make this window a little bit bigger so it's easier to read when I start typing these commands. The first one I wanna do is find out what my default gateway is, which is my router. So I can do that by doing IP route show. And you can see here, it is going to 172.16.21.254. So this will be your default gateway and most likely your DNS server. You can see here that this is getting it from that 172.16.21.115 interface, which is my network connection. Now, to actually set the static IP, we're gonna type NMTUI, and then we're going to go to edit a connection. You can see here, you can move with the arrow keys. I'm gonna hit edit a connection, if you have the Ethernet connection, which is what I'm using, you're going to want to select the wired connection, which is the default one. If you have Wi-Fi set up, you're going to want to select your Wi-Fi network, but the configuration process is the same whether you're on wired or on wireless. So I'm just going to hit enter here. We're going to go down to IPv4 configuration, and I'm going to select manual. And then we're going to hit the right arrow key to do show. 
and now we're going to put the IP address in. So I already know that I'm going to put this on 172.16.21.200, and you also have to put your subnet, and the subnet on most home networks, if not all of them, unless you have a setup that you specifically set up differently, is going to be a slash 24 address. So I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna go to my gateway, and I'm going to type in 172.16.21.254, and then, I can also use that for my DNS server, but I actually use uh, what's called AdGuard for network level ad blocking. So I'm gonna put those in, but most people don't have that set up. So just put your gateway address in for the DNS uh, if you're not sure. So I'm gonna put my DNS servers in here and I have two of them. So if you have multiple, you can actually put multiple in. And now we have that all filled out. So all I need to do now is go down and then go to okay and hit enter, and again, use the arrow keys to navigate. And then I'm going to go down to back, and then we're going to go to quit. So one thing I like to do is set up a continuous ping here to the old address and the new address so I can see when it comes up. So I'm gonna run another one here. And I have both of these going. So this is the address we're on now, and it's replying, and this is the address we're going to. So all I need to do is type sudo reboot, and now the Pi is going to restart. Now once it restarts, you're gonna see this one stop replying, and then this one will start replying shortly after. So you can see there, it's timing out. It'll take a couple of seconds for it to restart. Once it comes back up, we're gonna start seeing replies on this .200 address, which is the one we static assigned to the Pi. So there we go. We can see it's replying on the new address. And just like that, the IP is set to a static IP. So if I go ahead and type in the new IP address and hit enter, I should get the Octoprint interface. And sure enough, I do. So I'm going to log in. And just like that, it's now on that address. So now, no matter how many times I restart this, or if I move it to a different port, it will always be on that IP address. So just like that, you can set a static IP address on your EasyPi R4 Plus kit. That way the address never changes, even between reboots. And now it's no longer dependent on your router giving it an address. So I hope this video was helpful and shows you how to set the IP address. If you do have any other questions or have trouble doing this on your own kit, go ahead and contact our support by going to contactus.th3dstudio.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, happy printing.